Hey guys, this is your boy Joe with a quick advice. Midway to the course, right? I want you guys to take a deep breath. You've actually gotten this far. You've actually created a couple of little things here and there, you know, just to get your feet wet when it comes to HTML and CSS. But I want to take this little moment, this little minute that I'm going to take away from the course, and I want you guys to think about this. You know, some of you guys might be frustrated. Some of you guys might be thinking in your head, man, this is hard. How am I going to remember this? I know. <laughs> You're probably thinking that right now. I know it because that happened to me when I was learning. What you got to think about is basically breaking things down. You don't care about looking at this whole page and say, oh, my God, how am I going to do all of these things? No, what you care about is how are you going to break this down into small little pieces? Like, you know, this thing right here is a logo. And like I said before, it could be a text, it could be a picture. So you know how to put a picture, right? And you know that this is inside of a container. So this could be a div, this could be a section, this could be a header tag. It doesn't matter, right? And you know that this are multiple links. So you know how to do a link, right? Now, some of you guys might get stuck in the CSS and think like, wow, this is difficult. There's so many different, you know, properties. And you look at this list and you say, oh my God, I'm, I'm ready to give up. I'm never going to learn this thing. And I'll be honest with you guys, like I said in the previous videos, you don't have to learn every single property in CSS. You just got to know what exactly is it that you have to do right like if we look at this image and we come here and we say hey there is a blue background think in your head i gotta change the background to blue so how am i going to do that you're going to come to google if you can't figure it out from the videos that we've seen you're gonna come to google and basically say change background color CSS right this right here is going to save your life it's basically going to show you okay I gotta change the background to light blue or whatever the color it might be I'm actually going to give you the colors of the page once we get there but I want you guys to start thinking for yourself start looking at the design and this happens all the time you gotta start thinking about it like this you have to break down things into small pieces you gotta say hey this thing is blue I gotta find out how to make the background blue right you say okay the font size is a little bit bigger than what it normally is so you start trying it out you say okay I wanna try out a font size of 20 or 22 23 until for your eyes it looks similar to the design right also too you're gonna notice that the color of the fonts are white if you can't remember this how to change it white look it up search font size to 20 and then you say hey how do you change the color of the font and you just come to Google how to change color of font all right w3c school you could change it through this or through CSS you could just come in and say you know CSS text color blue color white whatever you want to change it to right so the reason why I come in and <laughs> you know basically stop you from continuing the course is I want to give you the small little advices you know midway so you can understand what to do you know sometimes you think everything is overwhelming and you're like man there's so much content here how am I gonna remember all of this you don't have to remember everything because even though some people might tell you hey you can learn this in one month you can learn this in two months no this is a process there's a process of every time you repeat it it sticks to your head it sticks on your brain you're not going to remember this from watching this video at this moment that's the reality of things that's why I want to be real with you guys and be honest and tell you guys hey you're not going to remember all of this stuff in one shot but luckily we're going to create multiple projects where you're going to remember all of this you know by the end of this course you're going to remember 
every single thing that you need to do in CSS. And if not, you're going to know exactly what's the question that you need to ask and basically ask in Google. That's it. Like, you know, when you become a web developer or a programmer or a software engineer in general, there's going to be a million different situations that you're just not going to know. It doesn't matter if you're five years in, 10 years in, 20 years in. What makes you a developer is not just knowing the code. It's not panicking or quitting, right? When you find yourself against a wall, you got to find the answer. I can teach you the syntax, but I can't teach you how to look for things. You have to use your brain. You have to also, you know, put in from your part and not think like this video is going to solve all your problems. You got to think about it. This person can teach me how to fish but I have to actually go and find the location where the fish is at. Think about it like that, you know? And yeah, man, keep on <laughs> watching the course. Don't give up. Keep on going. You're going to be fine. Trust me. Believe in me, you're going to learn this. By the end of this course, we're going to be building this full page. And you're going to be surprised because everything that I'm telling you is going to stick. I'm not here to tell you you're going to learn this in one video because it's, it can't be done. It can only be done by you practicing and creating multiple projects. All right. And not giving up. All right, kids. I'll see you in a little bit.